Well, for the last time, at least on my watch, we are in the drawing room. Welcome. It's uh, good to have you with us as we retire. And my final guests, uh, they're finally back, uh, Melbourne's favourite indie rockers. They are the basics, and they're singing. They're not like all that stuff you think that people sing about, like love and loss and all that. No, forget it. This is about politics and how the country's stuffed. They are Chris Schroeder, Tim Heath, and Wally DeBacker. They are my guests in a final drawing room for the year. Thank you for coming in, guys. Thank you very much, and it's an honour to be on your final program. I know, you didn't even realise it was an honour until you turned up and heard me say that, did you? Well, we're rock and rolls, we just turn up and whatever. Man. Yeah, whatever, man, whatever happens. <laughs> Point me towards the stage. Well, I have to say, this percussion setup, it's a little underwhelming. I thought you'd yeah. be here with lots of raucous things and cymbals and maybe a gong well, behind a little, you. A bit of a gong here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll play it like that. Though. I see what you've done there. Now, every piece here has come from uh, one corner of the ABC studio or another. Is that right? Yeah. And you can tell from the <laughs> hole in the, the top camera? of that. ABC effects. Yeah. Oh, wow. It actually yeah. is. Genuinely. Yeah, what this, exactly this is, is that? Auntie's personal effects here. <laughs> Are we trying not to um, destroy them? Auntie has a lot of effects. No more than is needed, I should say. But Well, yeah, <laughs> yes. that's why I'm taking these with me. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, and is that, it looks to me like that's a little bongo drum that's got mm. a hole it's in the got skin. got a bit of an issue. Why? But I'm going to coax it through the next 20 minutes. Really? Is this by yeah. design or are you just working with what you got here? Well, yeah, there's a bit of, a, there's a bit of an ABC vibe there. <laughs> Can you just play that? I want to hear what that actually sounds like. Not a lot of resonance in no, the skin. No, there's no anymore. resonance whatsoever. <laughs> It does sound like a broken it. drum, though. It so, <laughs> yes. in that it sounds regard, exactly it's great. like a broken drum. <laughs> yeah, genuine. Exactly like exactly it. Like it's it a genuine article. Yeah, it sounds as it is. Um, all right, make some noise for us, uh, and it will be acoustic noise because of the various <laughs> anti effects and the acoustic guitars that are here. Um, I know you're going to open with a track that's off this EP. Is there anything you want to tell us about? Uh, is it Actually, we weren't. We were going to oh, do one that's off that we haven't yet released. Oh, That'll be on right. the album that's coming out. We'll, then we'll follow up with the, okay. a track that's this off. This is a world premiere. Really? World premiere? <clears throat> All right. Yeah. What's it, what are we listening to? The song's called Time Poor. And, um, yeah, it's just about being time poor. Not yet heard on Triple J, by the way. Exclusive to RN, at least at this point. <laughs> I do, I want to do the... Keep us busy with cars and taxes Keep us dreaming of a life with a lot We're far too busy with files and faxes Chase that dream, we'll never stop I haven't got time for that See what I mean? They tell us to find more time for family Dock our pay for every one day of when we want to do more for charity They're quick to judge as if we're slacking off I haven't got time for that Time poor Time poor We're time poor That's our burden Time poor It's a western way But poor time gets blamed for everything Cos down here is it too late they give us news that's made for children And racist crap from Andrew Bolt When they said they stopped the boats What they meant was hide them We're far too busy to bother with that lot I haven't got time for that Time for Hey! The favourite word Sun the country, the favourite hook is creating jobs. The favourite word is sun Australian. The favourite time is on the clock. We're time poor, that's our burden. Time poor, it's a western way. But poor time gets blamed for everything. Still here, is it too late? I haven't got time for that. What about Indigenous rights then? I haven't got time for that. Well, surely you got a heart for asylum seekers, Wally. I haven't got time for that and what about patents on genetically modified foods then? I haven't got time for that Ah, uh, climate change is going to kill us all! I haven't got time for that What about just basic human rights then? I haven't got time for that What? Time for Time for We're time for Two time for We're time for Two time for We're time for Two time for All right! That's time poor. It's the basics. They are my guests in the drawing room. That song is—that's the first time that's ever been heard. I understand. 
I think so. Yes. Yes. Don't let me down now because that was the impression well, Tim, I got on the way uh, in. You better ask Tim about that. At, 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 a, at a basics gig, maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah, fair but enough. On the radio, well, on any kind of broadcast any kind of media. scenario. Right, fair enough. I, I think it probably would be fair to say, though, it's probably the first time Andrew Bolt has ever been a song lyric. <laughs> would that be a fair assumption? <laughs> well, he tried oh. to talk me out of using his name in the really? song. Really? Yeah, I just don't like the sound of his name. Yeah, right. It's too He's masculine somehow. <laughs> Bolt. But it's not lyrical? You think of Frankenstein. Oh, um, a sonic comment. That, that song, it feels like that came from Kenya. It just um, felt, it had that feeling about like the kind of that Definitely, yeah. That, I just got back actually um, late last year. It's interesting you mention that because the next one definitely comes from Kenya. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and I just woke up one morning and wrote that song in about... Ten minutes actually. Well, that's so what it was really it was time probably, to do. It has to be yeah. written pretty quickly. <laughs> Didn't even have time to learn it properly, <laughs> according to that recording. Anyway, <laughs> get some words wrong, whatever. You know, it's a basics gig. <laughs> so how, I just wonder how much of this sort of the stuff that you're pouring out at the moment has to do with distance. That you kind of had to leave Australia for a bit and view it from that distance in order to work up the kinds of themes or the things you wanted to say. Yeah, well, context is pretty important and. Um, yeah, you do realise how sheltered we are in this country. Um, yeah, when you're overseas and you actually see the stuff that's going on and you get a bit of perspective and you just start learning stuff and you're like, oh, never even heard of that thing. That's terrible. Yeah. You know? So, um, and then you come back here and you see what's put out in the press about, you know, stuff happening in the Middle East and in Africa and you know, wherever else and you're just like, oh, this is nowhere near what's, what's you know, what's actually going on. Mm. It's such a, you know, one-eyed pie view. Well, I felt like though in that song particularly you're critiquing not only the view but the willingness to care about it. There's lots of, there's so many pressures, you know, that make people um, have so many outs. So, so many so many ways that I guess in a society like in, in the West, like in Australia, especially where you can focus only in a very very narrow way on sort of what's happening in your world yeah and you know and the pressures on your life and maybe yeah. maybe your country maybe your state but you know maybe, but yeah people and you know you sing about this sort of stuff and people are like well, why are you singing about that it's got nothing to do with australia and you're like are you kidding me or <laughs> but um yeah i mean we're, we're pretty like we live in this sort of you know and people will probably scoff at me framing it this way but it's you know it's an oppressed sort of way of, of survival where we need to work in order to just pay the bills in order to survive and then we've got a media that's telling us, you know, you're doing the right thing, you're doing a great thing, keep focusing on what you're doing. It's like the Lego movie, you know. Yeah. All we need to Everything is awesome, everything is great. But, you know, I think it, all, it goes deep in that as well because it's, it's also about, I think it offers the opportunity to, um, to think about how you don't, uh, how, how, it's, how unfortunate it is that those kind of pressures, and they are real, and I don't think that like even the song like that, that we're trying to belittle those pressures yeah. that people have in their everyday lives because, you know, paying the bills, trying to afford a mortgage, um, all those things, they're all real for people. But there's also when it when I think a lot of it recent things... It is a fabricated things, reality though. There's no, there's no thing in any, you know, case where it says you must have a, own a house and you must own property. It's just a, you know, it's a system of meaning that's been put onto us and is continually reinforced through media sources and through yeah, very you know true. Um, and what, then what through word of, and people just believe it and through word of mouth well, what I was trying to say is I think that th those things are true but um, that uh, it, the the worst result of that I think when it lowers our humanity which I think in a lot of a lot of things that um, a lot of things in Australia that's, that's starting to happen where a lot of those everyday pressures I think are making people very willfully be very narrow minded and not not sort of interested to look at look more at principles and humanity and compassion for people. It's it play, it's played out, you know, with our approach to people who come seeking asylum from overseas. Uh, it gets played out in economic policies that sort of appear to, uh, you know, help all Australians, but actually generally always sort of, you know, hit the poorest, the hardest, things like that. that mm. And yeah, I think that's what the song is mainly about. Is is that? Oh, is all, it, mate? All the <laughs> yeah. If I do say so myself. You weren't in Kenya, buddy. That's right. I thought it was all you about. You weren't there, footy. man. <laughs> I had little bombs falling Sorry, around me. Tim, you thought it was about what? I thought it was about footy. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the subtext. Just the running out. Yeah, that's the best text. It's the end rich, of the last quarter. That's, that's a yeah. rich subtext. Um, we are very sadly out of time, which means I'm out of time for the drawing room pretty much forever, which is all very sad. But, no! um, <laughs> but I, you also have the honour, and I hope you feel it's an honour, of taking us out with one final bit of noise making. Yeah, this one's called um, Tune On by Sidia, just so you get the pronunciation right. Well, you, all right. 
Um, so this, like Wally mentioned, um, Asylum Seekers, this is a, a song about um, a girl and her family from East Africa. It's called Tuna Amba Sadio, which means help us please, sort of roughly, uh, in bad Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. She cannot remember the day she left Uganda And if you had asked her, her eyes would drift right past you From her home she'd come so far But she had hope in her heart Her brother had been taken and a soldier they had made him And when they protested, the father he was arrested In that land you have no choice Is it too much to wish for a life that could be peaceful? To Nambasaidia. Now they told him they would kill him if they did not do what they tell him. And his family in danger put their lives in the hands of a stranger. In that boat they travel far, heading for Australia. <laughs> They were picked up by the Navy Out where the ocean is waiting To an island were directed Where they were separated Like a prisoner of war Like a common criminal And they say Wame me chuku wa me wa pi Tunaki tuki baya Is it too much to wish for A life that could be peaceful how was this better than their homeland? And why did no one seem to care? So full of problems, full of violence There were so many people there Like this one time she was taken By the god they stripped her naked And when she protested Her father, he was arrested In this place you have no choice this you have no voice And she say Wame chuku wame wapi Tunaki tuki baya Is it too much to wish for A life that could be peaceful Tunamba saibia For a year now they've been waiting In their hearts they hope and praying For a chance to be together and escape this life of torture And hear the words that come so far to hear Welcome to Australia And we say Wame chuku wame wapi Tunaki tuki baya Is it too much to wish for A life that could be peaceful Tunayamba saia Tunayamba saia Bookend your day with essential listening. Breakfast and drive from 6am and 6pm on RN.